is shooty at the edge? I know. Did you did you see the metaphor there? I went I went to an edge. So therefore, metaphors. So in Power of the Doctor, we get introduced to the concept of the edge, where doctors go kind of like in between regenerations. They kind of, you know, if 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 you step over this, you're fully regenerated. And yeah, and then the events of Power of the Doctor take place. A fantastic concept that meant we got great cameos from former doctors. And, you know, it, it gave us a plot reason why, you know, the Sasha regeneration didn't fully happen. Power of the Doctor regeneration shenanigans. If, if, if you don't understand it, you could go watch Doctor Who. I'm, I, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not giving you full context for everything. I don't give handouts apart from good videos. Subscribe. But we all kind of thought that was going to be a brilliant, fun concept that was never really going to be revisited. But now I genuinely think there is a good chance that the concept of the edge could be revisited in the upcoming 60th specials. Because there has been a rumour going around that Shooty's appearance, or a lot about Shooty's appearance in the 60th, is going to be to do with the fact that he is at the edge in some way. So let's discuss some good reasons why that could be the case. First of all, it makes sense with the plot that the 60th seems to be creating. There seems to be this idea that is very likely to go on, that there is an odd reason that Tennant, as, as a face for the Doctor, has come back. And it could be to do with the fact that the regeneration has gone wrong in some way, and that, you know, like, Shooty's Doctor should have come straight after Jodie. So it makes sense to see Shooty's Doctor at the edge if there's something has gone wrong with said regeneration, and, you know, David is stopping him. It's like, it's like the Quantum Leap waiting room, which... I, is, is, is a reference I don't think anyone's going to get, but I just, I just, I just quite like Quantum Leap. <laughs> Niche reference, I know. So I think plot-wise, it definitely makes sense. Also, I think it might be a way for Russell to get in some cameos. I think many fans are not going to lie, myself included, if there isn't like a little bit more fan service in the 60th than just, oh, Tennant is back, oh, Donna is back, oh, look, there's Unit. I, as a fan for an anniversary special, need a little bit more. For, for me, personally. And I think if you do something where you've got the edge, it means you can bring back old Doctors again. You know, this is where, you know, Matt Smith can come on set for a day. You know, maybe some other Doctors can come on set for a day. And we get those kinds of cool cameos. So I think, in most other ways, it would be weird if Doctors came in literally just for a cameo. That would be quite hard to do. But in this scenario, it makes sense that those would be short, sharp cameos, but they would be incredibly cool. And I think it means you could, you know, do the cool story aspects that Russell wants to do, but also, you know, appease us needy fans. I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself in that bracket, by the way. I am I, I am a needy fan, je suis needy fan. But well, well, why, why, why did I go French then? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't stop, stop judging me. However, here's where we start to get onto, like, the negatives of that idea. You see, I think it limits Shooty and his possibilities. Like, I'm gonna give you the conclusion to this video a little bit early, which I know I'm a bad, bad YouTuber, but I think the best way to use this idea is to use it, say, in, like, the like, you know, the early parts of the specials, or, you know, if Shooty's just in the third special, the early part of the third special, and l let him be with Tenant's Doctor for a bit. Because I think not only would Tenant and Shooty together be a fantastic way to start off the Shooty era, I mean, that, that, that just sounds brilliant to me. But, you know, also, I don't really want, you know, Shooty just to be stuck on the edge. I don't think that makes sense dramatically, which is why I'm not 100% convinced by this theory. I'm not sure what story benefits you gain apart from the cameos by just having Shooty at the edge sat basically waiting for, you, you know, to, to, to be the Doctor and then, bam, he regenerates, he is the Doctor. There has to be some form of middle ground where Shooty comes into the specials a little bit before Tenant regenerates in some form of, you know, multi-Doctor, there's both Tenant and Shooty in the space way. There's also, like, logistical reasons why I'm not sure Shooty being at the edge is fully true. For example, we know from Yasmin Finney that she and Shooty Gatwa share scenes together, and obviously that, you know, you know, I, 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 y Yasmin Finney isn't going to the edge. That's, that's not happening. I think one of the jobs for the 60th as well is to launch Shooty's Doctor as, like, a fully formed character. But I don't mean that, you know, as in, like, you know, he needs to have all of his character development, but what I don't want, for example, the Christmas special this year to be is another 
oh, I've just started my regeneration, you know, oh, I'm feeling a bit ill, oh, I'm struggling a bit with this. Not only because I'm quite bored of that style of storytelling um, when, you know, the Doctor regenerates, but also if they are going to do any of that, I feel like the 60th should be the one to do that. Even I don't, I don't, don't really think they should do it at all. I just think it's much more interesting when the Doctor kind of comes in with a bit of bang and pizzazz and personality. Um, you know, I think Matt, Matt Smith and... Um, I've forgotten the name of Series 5, Episode 1, because of dementia. But, like... Uh, <laughs> can I make that joke? Yeah, I can make that joke, I guess. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I think, you know, we need this episode to, you know, I think we need Shooty to be outside of the edge just so Shooty has the time to, you know, do a bit of character development. And then we can come into the Christmas special and Shooty is just a fantastic, brilliant, fully formed Doctor that we can all just fall in love with immediately. I think that I think that's what I want. And if that's if, if, if that's what other people want, that that that, 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 that would be nice. But what do you guys think about the edge theory? If you have theories, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to, like, give them a read. Do you guys think it would be a good idea? Because I think with a lot of these kind of, like, discussion-y theory videos, it's kind of like, uh, these are my thoughts, but I also trust Russell. If he disagrees with my specific thoughts, I usually would trust him to have his own cool, unique vision that I, I, re I reckon will be good. I do trust Russell. I just, you know, it's... I just, I always have to keep my fingers crossed when it comes to Doctor Who, because it scares me. Please give this video a like, please subscribe, because we're, we're on this journey, and we are going to keep striving for more on this channel. And if you want to see a new video, click the video here, right here. Like, guide your mouse or your, or your, Spider-Man. See, I was, was going to do a cool, interesting bit, and then Spider-Man decides to fall the, I can't, I shouldn't swear, but fall over, fall over. Did you see that? I was, I was being careful now, being monetized now. I've got, I've got to be careful. I literally just made a joke, so. This intro, this outro was a tag, I literally called it an intro. It's, it's, I've, I've made a mockery of my outro. Just click the video there. It probably wasn't even there when I first mentioned it. Ah!